YouTube. <laughs> I gotta bring some energy. YouTube, how the fuck you doing? What's going on, guys? Nate Shot here. We're at the 100 Thieves Cash App Compound. Today is the day that we finally unveil the 2022-992-911 Turbo S. I have been chasing after this car for about a year and a half. The way I was able to get my hands on a car like this was actually through family friend at Momentum Porsche. So shout out to my boy, Rob Dale, shout out to David, shout out to Ramsey for taking care of me and helping me get an allocation for this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful German engineered machine. It's actually one of the first cars I'd say in the United States. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about the supply chain issues and the chip shortages, but it was a really, really long process to actually get my, my order in and have the car delivered. To get an allocation for a Turbo S, it's not the easiest thing to do if you haven't purchased a lot of Porsches in the past or if you don't have the right relationships just because they only make so many of these cars every single year. And half the battle is getting an allocation so that you can actually order it from Germany and spec it out completely custom to however you desire. It's just a dream come true. This is my dream car and I finally have my hands on it. It's a very overwhelming experience just because Porsche, like I told you before, has so many different options. From the exterior to the interior, not only can you track the car and really push it to the limits, but you can also daily drive this vehicle, which is not easy to find when you get up into the price range that we spent on the vehicle itself. I would say the number one most glaring decision that I made was the paint. This is chalk, which is offered by Porsche, I think starting in like the last two or three years. I mean, even in the shadow, if we come around the car and get into direct sunlight, the paint job will look different at different times of day. And I think that's super interesting. And what goes so well with the chalk is the high gloss black, which you'll see accented all around the exterior. So the spoiler, the intake vents right here, the exhaust, going all the way around, the mirrors on the side, the window sills, this intake vent right here, they're all optioned out high gloss black. Now the top of the car, which was a big decision for me to make was, should I go with the sunroof? Should I go with the carbon fiber, which makes the car weigh less? That was only a route that I would take if I was really interested in tracking this car. But for me, I was gonna be daily driving this anyways. I wanted to be able to open up the roof. I'm close to the PCH and just something about the energy of driving around with the sunroof open open on a beautiful summer day in LA. That's what I wanted to enjoy and that's what I wanted my experience to be. And then if you look at the wheels of the car, you have like the staggered 20 to 21 inch in the back. And these are the exclusive design wheels. If you actually want them to paint it black, they'll keep certain accents of the wheel, the normal color, and then only parts of it will be black. My friends at the Porsche dealership, they have a great shop that does, you know, tinting, which you guys see on the windows. And then they just powder coated this high gloss black so that every part of the car is just contrasted in uniform. And I think it's super, super clean. And then on the front, this is the sports design package. So you'll see, on the base entry levels of the 911 of 2022, they won't actually have this all the way around and like the high gloss black on the bottom here. I just think it makes the car look a little bit more aggressive. The Turbo S word mark going across, high gloss black. What was really cool is that I was able to make the taillights clear. When the car is off, the brake lights aren't on, it just fits. It just fits so well. The only thing that I actually wanna make sure I got this on video and I'm gonna send it to my guys at Porsche. I was showing my car off in the parking lot to the Valorant team. The interior of the taillight is actually broken and there's shattered glass on the inside. Now I know it wasn't my fault because I haven't backed into anything and the the damage is internal i would imagine this might have happened in transport and then somehow i think some of that glass even traveled to this side but i'm just happy that there's no external damage so i can't be blamed for this it, it, it it's not my fault i know that for a fact we should do a cold start start. Let's jump inside and uh, take a look what I did on the interior. This is one of my favorite parts. The 
first thing that I would notice if I was stepping in this car for the first time is the red guard deviated stitching that you see lying throughout the entire cabin. You have it on the doors, the dashboard, throughout the seats. I mean, just a beautiful, eloquent touch. And uh, I wanted to make sure that I was always thinking about 100 Thieves as a whole whenever I step foot into this car. So on top of that, with the deviated stitching, I actually did the tack and the chrono on the interior and all the gauges you'll see have the red guard. Um, Jesus, Austin. Sorry. What's going on? What are you, hold on one second. What are you doing? What are you, are you filming something? Yeah, you want to get in? Yeah. Okay. You. Can I call? Can I call you back real quick? So let me ask you a question. Um, what do you think about the red deviated stitching and on the gauges throughout the car? I, I love a little uh, splash of red. I think it's a great decision. I can open this up. Damn. And we're cruising. Wow. This this car is incredible. But it's not. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. What's the zero to 60 on this? 2.2 seconds. 2.2 seconds? That's dangerous almost. That, that is dangerous. No sense in, in, you know, if you die, you die. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, thanks, Austin. Yeah, no worries. I appreciate you sprinkling a little bit of your uh, your pizzazz into this. No, video. absolutely. I, I appreciate you inviting me. I don't know if you got if the if it's, the video is going to be out by the time you release this vlog. They're never going to hear about this. But I. I almost killed half the org, but. Okay. All right, well now that Austin's gone, when you sit down in front of the steering wheel, what I love, Porsche's ability to integrate 21st century technology and the old school analog feel of what cars used to be. What I didn't like about my Tesla, which I thought was really cool at first, was the entire touch screen that pretty much took up the entire dashboard of the car. It's not very intuitive. There is a reason why we have dials in a car. There's a reason why I know exactly where the volume is, AC or the heat, everything involved with the driving experience, even the gear shifter itself, it's still just like an arm's reach away and I know exactly what I can touch and not touch to make the car perform exactly how I want it to. We kept the Porsche crest. We have the Turbo S embroidered into the seats as well. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce this just because I hadn't heard of this audio brand until I bought this car. I would imagine it's pronounced Burmester. Burmester? And they come standard with Bose speakers, but the Burmester speakers just perform. I mean, in the bass and the treble. You have an option to delete the seats in the back, but the number one thing that I was stoked about, my golf clubs fit back there. Oh, Logan. What? You know what's amazing? You know what I waited for? For the last three weeks that I've had this car, I made sure to keep all of the factory stickers on so that we could have that satisfying moment together with everybody at home. You gotta make sure you get this shot, mm -hmm. okay? Please, I've been waiting this long on purpose. Here we go. Man, it didn't sound as satisfying because it was tucked away on the dash, but let me see how different now. Oh my God, it feels so much better. It feels so much better. Oh, yeah. Should we, should we go and drive a little bit? Yeah. You wanna get in the car? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. Honestly, the size of the car, I feel like I'm driving the meanest and fastest go-kart. The car just feels like it's cemented into the ground, but is also floating at the same time. Now, I'm sure you can hear the cabin noise. It's not as sealed and as quiet that you would get with like a luxury vehicle. That's not the point of a, a 911 Turbo S. You want to hear the exhaust. You want to feel the road. Dude, that was 90 miles an hour. I mean, the car just goes. The Turbo S, I 
can't explain the phenomenon that you experience, but it's almost as if the car is just begging you to push it further. Just please push that gas pedal down to the floor and just take me faster. Uh, you know, I know that might sound crazy, but if you've driven a car like this, I think you'll know exactly what I mean. It's just begging you to go faster and push it even further. And I've never driven a car that has given me that same that same experience. Everybody talks about the brute strength and speed of a Tesla off the line. It goes zero to 60 in like 1.9 seconds. But the issue is once you get above like 60, 70 miles an hour, to get it to go from like 70 to 100 or 70 to 120, it really is taking a lot out of the vehicle and it takes a lot for the car to speed up whereas this i mean once you get above 60 it feels like it's just getting quicker and quicker and quicker my first car ever was a 2004 dodge intrepid and then i after i won cod xp back in the day we got a hundred thousand dollar check i went and bought like a scion tc then after that i went to a e92 m3 it was like the last v8 they made in a coupe and then after that i went to a bmw i8 then we had the g-wagon which a lot of you guys on my channel probably remember now we've had the tesla for four years and uh the Tesla is a great car and it's incredibly innovative, uh, but it's just not the vehicle for me right now. This was a car that I don't want to be too precious about. I want to daily drive a vehicle like this. It has a lot of ability and you can push the car, but it also has, uh, you know, like the luxury of a vehicle that can be daily driven. I can experience every single day uh, and it's comfortable enough for a passenger for like a short like road trip, drive a couple hours down to San Diego, maybe up to Santa Barbara. My girl and I can fit two suitcases in, in, in the front trunk or the front and really just enjoy uh, the fruits of our labor. Right now we're going 70 miles an hour, right? We're going 65. Watch, watch this. That's 90. That's 90 right there. I mean, and that's not even in Sport Plus. This isn't manual, it's an eight-speed uh, PDK transmission. Now, I'm sure over time, I'll find some things that just don't feel right or things that I would change myself, but right now, this car is the embodiment of a dream. Everything is right where it needs to be, and everything is right where it needs to be and allows you to have a performance on like anything, anything else on the road. I love it. I feel like I need to stop talking. I don't know how to do a British. I don't know how to do a British accent, but some of my favorite car reviewers actually do have a British accent. I'm sorry, I butchered that. Oh man! Hey, you guys might not believe us, but I swear to God, we went on that drive, and then I brought my car in between the curb and the bike container. We put it right back where we started for the outro. It's the details. Maybe drop a like just for that. This is the 992-911 Turbo S and all of its glory. Hey, oh, hey, hey, off again. What's going on? Would you, how, how long have you been filming this car? Still oh, there's more people. <laughs> Jackson's here. Oh, oh, yeah. The door is kind of nice. Hey, Matt, would you mind uh, keeping my parking spot? Where, you know, the Rolls Royce right there? Would you mind keeping that? My spot. I'm sure. On the day of my daughter's wedding, the day that I unveiled my Porsche 911 Turbo S, Austin pulls up in a Rolls Royce Cullinan. Yeah, let's come on, take a look. Let's take a look. You can't help but notice the Rolls Royce Cullinan. Um, I just bought it, paid cash. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's dirty though. Look how dirty it is. I don't know how much of that chaos that Logan recorded is actually gonna make it into the outro of the video. That's it, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys love the choices I made at this car. If you don't, I respect your choices, but I'm in love and uh, it's the most beautiful car I've ever owned and probably will ever own for the rest of my life. And I'm so happy I got to share it with all of you. Thank you for being along for this journey. Thank you for making my dreams possible. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope you guys like the car. If you enjoyed it, please drop a thumbs up and uh, more Turbo S 911 992 videos to come. YouTube, we'll see you a bunch later. Oh, yeah.